Howdy Tinker Nerds, Gigafied here. I'm sure most of you noticed that there was no video on Friday. The reason for that was because I did not get the video done. And you should be aware that the more complicated these projects get, um, I may not be able to post them every week like I had promised. And I'm very sorry for that. It's just, it's not physically possible for me. All right, so that being said, I did want to share with you kind of, uh, I guess you could call this a behind the scenes, but actually this is another tutorial for how to set up a Bitcoin mining rig using a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started with that. So what we're going to use to mine the Bitcoins on the Raspberry Pi is a program called Mine Peon. And if you look at this website, this is mineforman.com slash minepeon. Um, you can get more information about it. And basically, it's an entire operating system that installs on the SD card. Um, apparently, we can't get to it from here. So let's just use Google minepeon. Because I know it's at SourceForge. So if you click on the SourceForge option, then you can download it. So you just want to uh, download the most recent version and it comes in an image format and then you just burn it to an SD card. If you've worked with the Raspberry Pi before and put Linux or um, or the uh, uh, RASP BMC on it, it's essentially the same process. You download the image um, and then you burn it to an SD card or just copy it over to an SD card. And the best way to do that on Windows is Win32 Disk Imager. So you want to download that as well while the other one's downloading. Um, and it again is on SourceForge. I really love SourceForge. So you can download that as well. But luckily, in the interest of time, I have downloaded both of these. So here we have the latest version of Mind Peon which currently is 0.2.3a and then disk imager. You want to make sure that you have an SD card in your computer which I am putting in now and uh, then you want to launch the Win32 disk imager And you want to select your image file, uh, which is on the desktop, mine peon, and then mine peon image. And then select your device, which will be in this drop down list, and then click write. And it's going to write over whatever is on there. So make sure that the, the uh, SD card is. Uh, uh, doesn't have anything important on it because it's going to be erased. Before you can do anything with bitcoins, um, you have to have a bitcoin wallet, some place to store it, some place to track your transactions. And there's a couple of different ones that I can account for that I've used. One of them is called uh, Coinbase, and you can view it here at coinbase.com. This is good because um, like some of the benefits of this is that it's online based so it's platform independent. You can access it essentially anywhere that you have a browser and um, and it's very good for if you want to use it on multiple platforms. It's platform independent. The other one is called Multibit And this one is good if you don't want to uh, hassle with any online accounts like breaches of security, having your information stored on somebody else's server. Multibit is good because it is available on all three of the major platforms. Um, so the only downside is that it's not on Android or iOS, which considering the uh, security issues those platforms have been having with Bitcoins may not be a downside. Um, but these are the two that I've used and can account for, and uh, it's it's a very good. These are both very good wallets to use. So what you have here is the 
Bitcoin mining rig in its entirety. You have the Raspberry Pi with the uh, SD card with the software already loaded on it. And you have an Ethernet cable. Um, you could go with a USB wireless uh, Ethernet adapter if you wanted to. Um, and over here you have the Bitcoin GPU. Well, this thing is very hot. And the reason I have this in a self-powered USB uh, hub is because the Raspberry Pi doesn't really output enough power from its USB to give it the power it needs. So um, this is being run through its own powered USB source. And it uh, uh, it can run you around, this ran me around $60. Um, they're probably more expensive than that, depending on where you go, and depending on how fast of a GPU that you want to purchase. If you were to um, try to mine Bitcoins yourself using your own computer, um, it would take about a year just to earn one Bitcoin, just because of how difficult it is to do nowadays. You can mine Bitcoins faster if you have like access to um, a lot of computing resources. So that's where uh, a bit Bitcoin mining pool comes into play is it essentially allows you to um, join your resources other uh, with other groups of people's computing resources to mine for bitcoins. That way you can mine them much faster. And uh, um, along with that, whenever you um, successfully have mined bitcoins, the pool splits the profits from those bitcoins. So that's the only downside, but it shouldn't take you um, as long to actually get some bitcoins as opposed to if you did it yourself. So that being said, let's uh, um, see about some bitcoin mining pools. There's a uh, there's several that I've used. Um, one of them is uh, Slush's mining pool. This is at bitcoin.cz. It's also known as Slush's pool, and um, they have a 2% fee that they take from all the Bitcoins mined. And this uh, this I have been using and I'm currently using and is, it's a, a very nice way to um, join a pool and uh, jump right into earning some Bitcoins. Currently I've mined 0 .0001 Bitcoins and it's only been a day. So that's not too bad. So essentially how this works is once you have your Raspberry Pi set up, you want to type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and mine would be 0 0.5, that's the local IP address, and you want to click log in. And this should all be set up whenever it boots up. The only difficulty would be finding the IP address. Um, which you can scan your network for or um, just whatever method you have. And then you want the username is mine peon. Password is peon. Don't laugh at that. Again, it's not HTTPS. Google hates that, so you want to proceed anyway, and it makes you type it in again. All right, so. If you um, already have your um, GPU plugged in via the powered USB port into your Raspberry Pi, it should automatically detect it. And then all you'll have to do is enter in um, the different pools that you want to use. So I have the uh, uh, Bitcoin.cz, the slushes pool, and then the, uh, I actually have another one called BitMentor, which is another one that you could try. 